What is up guys, it's Johnny here again today and I'm gonna be bringing you a video on my FRS. I know it's been a long time. You guys haven't seen this car lately because there just hasn't been any mods to do to it. I've been so busy, you know, working on other cars, working on customers' cars, you know, modifying cars for people, uh, installing wide body kits. I've done seven in these past three weeks. Uh, it's been pretty hectic. It's, it's actually been kind of cool, you know, being able to modify a lot of cars even during the quarantine. I just have people come drop them off. You know, obviously I'm here by myself all day. So uh, as, as a car shop, I guess you can say, I'm an essential business, so I'm able to stay running. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's been pretty busy. A lot of people are kind of um, sad over this whole situation with being, you know, having to stay home that they're ordering car parts, you know, wanting to modify their car since there's no shows, no nothing. They want to get it all ready before show season. And right now is the time to do it. You know, everybody's modifying their cars, so you get to enjoy it. And I think it's, you know, it's my turn. Today, I didn't really have much work to do, so I figured I would clean up my car. It's been sitting for like three months, I want to say, and it, I haven't washed it once. It's actually been sitting outside instead of in the garage because of a build that's going on inside the garage at the moment. And uh, I think it's time to give it a wash. And then uh, another thing that I did is the carbon hood was looking terrible. So I went ahead and restored it. So I'll put a little clip here, you know, so you guys can see uh, the, the hood. The hood getting pretty much sanded down, getting down to, to bare carbon. And then I clear coated it, made it look all new. So now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install it after I wash the car. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me in the little wash. My hood was all faded. It was hazing. It had like clouds in the, in the, I guess you would call it resin. And uh, it just didn't look like a carbon hood anymore. And I was really disappointed with it. So I took it down all the way to the carbon. You can see there, you can actually, you can't feel the carbon, but it's literally right there. There's no resin on top of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clear coat it now. That took me two days to just sand it down. And I'm gonna make this hood look like new again by removing every bit of oxidation, every bit of everything straight to the carbon. It's been five years. I think it's time to treat this hood right and make it look like new again. Got the hood all clear coated. Look at it, looking so good. It's been years since I've seen the hood this good. Nice and clear, nice and shiny. No hazing, no yellowing. I always, I think since the first year or second year, this part was all like cloudy, so you can't really see the carbon fiber. And then recently it had a lot of like cloudiness right here. The yellow was kind of prevalent where it looked kind of golden, but now it looks silver, which is how carbon fiber should look. It just looks great. Super excited to have my hood looking this good. And then these faded right from the beginning, I think maybe within a year, I painted them black. So now I went ahead and sanded them all back, clear coated them along with the hood so that they are carbon fiber once again. Look at that. Looks great. Looks really, really great. So first of all, here's the car. It actually doesn't look that dirty unless you get really close up. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it's on there pretty good. So got a, a bird poop there. The rest of it, you know, got standing dirt just chilling there. Diffusers all dirty. Look down there a little bit. Just overall dirty. I mean, this is dirt dust just because it rained and then we get a little bit of like those dust storms here and there. Uh, it's been with the, with the hood off, so this is all dusty as well. You can see all this dust just sitting here. That needs to be rewrapped. I guess my headlight kind of like with the Arizona heat, it kind of folded that. So I might just even remove them just to make it cleaner. I really like them though, so I don't know. The whole car is just overall pretty disgusting my wheels so yeah gonna go ahead wash wet it all down i'm gonna use my mcguire soap with uh, the dual double bucket method with microfibers to get to get it all soaked up 
And then uh, I think after I rinse it again, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and pass with uh, not a clay bar. I have like this little little rag that I use that's meant to, to remove overspray and like stuff on top. So I'll probably do that. And then, you know, rinse it down again, dry it up, and then put the carbon hood back on, which I have chilling right here, looking amazing. In the sun, you can see it much better than you could at night when I clear coated it. So I'm gonna clean the car before I throw the hood on because the hood is super clean right now. So that will be clean and then I'll mate it. And then hopefully we can go out now that they um, starting to open up here, Phoenix in Arizona, they're starting to open up a lot of the stores so you can actually take it out. So tomorrow is Saturday and I will be able to drive it. I have a guy that's trying to hit me up for a photo shoot, potential magazine, uh, you know, feature. So that'll be cool. So that's why I want to get the car done. That's what actually motivated me to get the hood done because I had started sanding it and I realized that I needed to sand all the way down to be able to get to the bare carbon because just sanding lightly, you were gonna still see the haze and, and the yellowing. And then on this side, uh, actually right here, it had a bit of a crack in the resin and that's that's completely gone. So that, that's amazing. I didn't even know that was possible to repair cracks in carbon, but now I know and I can do it for other people in case they want you know something like this done. I don't really wanna do it though because this took me like two days of just pure sanding I sanded with 320, nothing was happening. So I dropped it down to 80 grit and I was just going hard. Uh, it took me forever to, to do the hood, but now it's finally done. It was well worth it. You know, it's my hood, $700 hood. I didn't feel like buying another one, so I needed to restore mine. So only thing it cost me was the materials. So, and a lot of my time. Super happy with the results. So I always had like a nasty like fade here in this corner that I could never, get rid of just because i would try to sand it and polish it and now i'm super happy because i think that little fade right here happened like at the, at the beginning of the, the first year and then just everything else started getting worse from there so let's go ahead get the the wash buckets right there ready just soap her down soap down with the microfiber towel and now i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it off and if the paint feels nice and smooth i might not have to clay bar it but if it doesn't i'm gonna have to clay bar it so we'll see once i rinse it off now the car is all clean and dried up looking super shiny nice and smooth really excited with the outcome you know having the car so dirty for so long it's kind of nice to see it clean I also have another wing that I want to try out. Uh, and I guess just to have something to do for this video. I think that would be cool to switch out my trunks with the wing that I have. You guys are gonna be kind of, I don't know. I guess some of you might like it, some of you might not like it. It's a, it's an OEM wing. It doesn't really go with the car, but it'd be cool. I went ahead and uh, cleaned up the plastic here. That was all nasty. Cleaned up the engine bay a bit. And I think now it's time to go ahead and put the hood on. So oh, here it is all cleaned up. I still got to install the rods because I sold them to someone. Someone needed splitter rods. And since I wasn't driving, I was like, might as well sell them. I'm gonna install some new ones that I just got in. So, and then hood is on. Engine bay is looking pretty good. It's not the best engine bay. You know, there's obviously a lot of like wires and stuff around, but I think that the red 2017 manifold is like one of the things that made it look really nice. Obviously having the nice turbo, having the gold wrap, uh, the, the, the hoses I'm not too happy with, but that's the only color they had. And then, you know, just a bunch of other little, little mods here that I have done over the years. I'm sure there wouldn't be that, that big of a problem. There it is. Look at that. Fresh hood. 
Who this? Actually, that's an old meme. <laughs> All right, so yeah, looking great. I gotta put the rods, rods on and uh, probably polish the headlights a little bit. They're starting to get a little bit faded after five years as well. The hood and the headlights are one of the first things I installed on the car. If you guys have followed the channel, I just ordered those right away ASAP straight from the beginning. So, look at that. So good, so good. So here are the rods that I like to use. They're probably the toughest rods you can get out there at the moment, made out of like billet aluminum. Uh, so I already have like the mounts for when I mounted it to my crash bar. That was done in a whole different video. So I'm just pretty much replacing these. These are nice and fresh. My other ones were a little bit, you know, dented up from like rocks and stuff. So it's kind of nice to renew them. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. This is pretty much just there and there. And obviously I already have the bolts that come here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on so we can have both splitter rods on and not worry about my splitter dragging. This is a little bit dirty here. I need to clean that up. I feel like the plastic got a, a bit sun damaged because of whatever was laying there for a while. Um, so I'm sure I can sand that out or something. And then this is my GoPro mount for when I go to the track when I've taken it out to the racetrack. So let's go ahead and put this on. So car is all clean, hood is installed. And uh, yeah, thinking about changing up the rear, you know, ducktail, changing up the trunk setup. So I have acquired a very special wing that uh, is very expensive. The wing usually runs like four thousand dollars brand new from the dealer so i figured why not just test fit it it's actually on a trunk it's a brew brz ts out of a 2018 brz it's the original trunk that comes with the ts and the wing and it's obviously you know carbon fiber so it matches really nicely with the hood obviously the, the wing on there is carbon fiber as well so i think it'd be fun to just kind of like swap it to see what my car will look like maybe take some pictures of it with this wing and if i decide i don't really like it i mean i'll just put my my trunk back on so you guys let me know what you guys think of the ts wing and if you guys are interested in purchasing it i might sell it uh i don't know i don't know the price i think they run like 2500 bucks which is quite a bit so not not anybody's gonna buy this unless they are a fan of the sti and just want to have all the STI mods. It looks a lot more aggressive now, actually. I think I kind of like the look. It's got the new BRZTS wing, super expensive wing. I don't know, it just looks good. I like how the, the trunk looks really clean. You know, it's just like a stock trunk and then it's just a big old wing just chilling on top. Huh. I, I think it'll be funny to run it for a little while. It'll look kind of cool. I think so I can always change trunks whenever since I have my trunk right here super easy to do 